The Psycho Monkey uses psychokinesis to launch and control darts, and through upgrades, he can become a Chronomancer, the master of time, as well as a powerful earthbender that can summon a giant golem to smash the balloons, or he can master his psychokinetic abilities and become the Super Rift Storm. Look at how epic this guy is! What even? And if you want to see more of these insane high quality mods, hit that like button so Huber adds some paragons to these guys. Huber always makes the most insane mods. They made the army base as well as the boxer monkey, and I'm, oh my gosh, this looks so sick. That's so cool. They're like, they've got a scarf. I love the hairdo, and they've just got like a dart just like hovering. So let's see what they're all about here. So I think they, whoa, they just instantly annihilated the balloons. I love, wait. That looks so good, actually. It's so... I've never seen how the, the animation moves. It's like... It, like... You see how it, like, slows and then goes for the attack? Really cool stuff. So, for the first upgrade, we can get Hypersense, so increases range. We need faster. What's the fastest one? So, launches darts faster. I think we just want that. And then, Mind Breaker. So, each dart can pop plus one balloon layer. What is this one? So, Telekinesis Spikes. Telekinesis Spikes. Can now place road spikes that can remove camo properties. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm, and then psychics. So I think I'd rather just get mind breaker for now. Because that seems pretty good. And then get psych surge. So darts can now pierce through more balloons. So I feel like that's going to be really good. So stick of stone, which is the T3. So channel psychic power to the mighty stick. <laughs> to cause small quakes. All right. So this looks like this turns into the Geomancer, which I love the art for this, by the way. Look at this. The art's so cool. That's amazing. The, uh, the modder does this super duper talented. Huber, I'd love, if you're watching this, would love to get in contact. I think we can go ahead and just get all three of them down. We can put this guy right here. There we go. So now we have two of them, which is really, really nice. So I kind of want to get the Hypersense, and then I want to get the Telekinesis Spikes. The telek, I oh wait, telekinesis. So telekinesis spikes. Telekin, I, I, I don't know. So there's the spikes that they put down, which already looks really cool. I love the purple glow with it. They look very anime-like, and it's really cool. So I wonder if I should get the speedy kinesis because it launches darts faster, and then diversion. I don't know. Mindbreaker and then psych surge actually seems really good. Just the fact that you can pop one extra layer, and that might apply to the the spikes as well. So I think overall that's going to be something we want to go for. Sometimes cast a cyclone disc attack that jumps from balloon to balloon. Ooh, okay. I really like that as well. These are all just amazing. All right, let's go ahead. I just realized, wait, the monkey's only $465? That seems super cheap. So we have all three of the monkeys down. We're going to have to get all three of the T5s, like the Chronomancer, the Golem, as well as the Supa Rift Storm. So it looks like, let's have this one be the Golem so we can get the Stick of Stone here. This one can be the top path. So this one can be the middle path. So this will be Speedy Kinesis. And then we can get Diversion. Let's see. I don't know if I really care. We might... I think I'll just end up getting a village here. So magic assist. So magic assist grants 10% additional attack speed to all wizard monkeys in range. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. So if you, I mean, an extra 10% and there's the buff that shows up on it. Cool. That's really cool. I also love the change. Like the cloak that he gets looks very priest-like. I really like that. That is really nice. And I think we can just go ahead and get mind breaker, psychic surge. We can go ahead and get Diversion, and let's just get the T2s. For this, I still think that Mindbreaker and Psychic Surge are probably the best options to get. We can go ahead. The Cyclone Disc is only $1,000. Well, Magic Assist. Wait, we don't want Magic Assist. We want the Stick of Stone. So, channel Psychic Powers to the Mighty Stick. All right, so let's see what this is all about. I love it! So, he, oh, look at this. He's got the stick, and he just, boom! Oh, so he just turned into the cave monkey. This is, he's, we now have the cave monkey. He's, he's a ooga booga monkey. Ooga booga. <laughs> and then the next upgrade is the Geomancer. So manipulates earth to launch heavy rocks at the balloons. Luckily, okay, so it looks like we can't pop it unless we have the stick of stone, which is nice. So normally you can't pop it. Maybe this does it, but I'm not too sure about that. So let's go ahead and get the cyclone disc now. Oh, I love it. His eyes turn purple. That looks so cool. 
This looks really sweet. I want to see the... Oh, there... Okay. Do you see the disc that pops up? The disc goes really fast. You got to watch it. Ready? Here it comes. Boom. Okay. I like that a lot. So the next upgrade is $11,000 for this, which is the Neo Blade Surge. And then we have Geomancer and then Sands of Time for the T-Bar. So Sands of Time seems like the cheapest, so let's go ahead and grab this. So Time Manipulation rewinds all nearby small balloons a few seconds into the past. What? Okay, that's really cool. That's really cool. And then the next one is Chronomancer. So we don't really have anything to worry about. I want, I'm gonna wait a little bit and I want some balloons to get through and then I wanna use this ability on the balloons to see what happens. Cause I feel like that could be really cool. If just, okay, right, here we go and boom. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so it just pushes them back. It just like resets. Nice to have a little bit of breathing room right there. And so it looks like this tower is not that good. Not, not the whole tower, but this path isn't very strong. It looks like this whole, the whole point of this tower is just to have like the rewind time so overall not it seems more of a support based tower and also it you want to have magic monkeys because a 10 percent attack bonus is actually really good so oh here we go let's rewind the balloons oh that's so good okay so geomancer manipulates earth to launch heavy rocks at the balloons oh my gosh look he's got rocks floating around him now this looks like an official balloon tower I, should balloons add this to the game i think they should this is sweet this is cool. Okay, Golem Master is the next upgrade, which is pretty expensive. We're about to have to go up against the Moab, but fortunately for us, I think we can get the Neo Surge just in time. So, rapidly launches knives, which deal high damage to weaker Moab balloons and sometimes swords, which penetrates all balloons. So, I think we're going to need to get this in order to beat up the Moab. So, let's go ahead and get this. Oh my gosh, he's got white hair now and looks so cool. That is so sweet looking. That is so good. All right, so let's see what we got up against this Moab. Hopefully, oh, this thing just crushes Moabs, and we can use our time. So this doesn't have a lot of range to it, unfortunately. The range on the Chronomancer is very low, so it only affects balloons that are within their radius. So let's look at Chrono... All right, well, let's see what all the T5s are. So T5s are now going to start becoming a little bit more expensive. We should be able to save up for them. Not too bad. So the Chronomancer, the Chronomancer bends time's flow, rewinding all visible balloons to their origin. That is a crazy ability. So it doesn't have to be in range and it's all visible balloons. I don't know if it counts for BADs. It does say all visible. So maybe BADs are included where it's just a reset where all balloons just go to the front of the screen. And if that's the case, that would be insane. That would be so wild if that's actually how it works. I definitely want to try that out. I want to go ahead and get Chronomancer. We're already kind of doing great. Chronomancer, as you can see, has no pops, though. Zero pops. Chronomancer does pretty much no damage. Does this increase range at all? Increase Hypersense increases range. Interesting. That might be something that's better. So I think I'm not going to worry about it now. But in hindsight, I think for this path, the hype, the top path is way better. Because the Mind Breaker, this is good for attacking, but this tower doesn't really attack. And so it's not that big of a deal. And so I'm not too worried about it. I would get it, but it says Chronomancer. It just says all visible balloons. So I'm not, I'm not stressing anymore. So it's not, it's, that's more than fine. That is, we are super chilling. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, round 49 was a little scary, but we can go ahead and get Chronomancer here. Let's go ahead and get the first T5 tower in three, two, one, and a boom. Oh, that is so cool. So we got the hourglasses on both sides of them, and they're hovering, and it looks like they've got a big clock on their back. Okay, do we want to use... Oh, wait, never mind. The ability has such a long cooldown, actually. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this ability has such a long cooldown. It's like a five-minute cooldown. Oh no. Okay, so we need to we need to be very very sparing with how we use this ability because of how long it takes for it to come off cooldown. And it was already a big like it was already like a quarter of the way done or three fourths of the way done. So we got to be really careful with how we do that. I'm fine with that. We can go ahead and just let's just get jungle drums like a casual 15% attack speed boost is pretty cool I like how this guy's got his headphones on and he's just jamming to the music right I love that that's so good all right 
So we have the Chronomancer ability in case things get a little bit out of hand. And it looks like they are trying to get out of hand. But we're not going to let it happen. We're not going to let it happen just yet. I think we need to save up and get the Supa Rift Storm, which is $48,000. I know it's pretty much double the amount of money that we have now, but we have our ability. So if things get sticky, if things get a little bit out of hand, and things, oh, whoa, things are getting a little bit out of hand. We always have the ability to fall back on, which I'm so excited to give it a try. If things get crazy, we're going for it. Guys, if you think this mod is super epic, please show some love for the creator. Hit that like button, guys. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on notifications. We bring you daily epic modded content for Balloons Tower Defense. This one is crazy how much damage. I mean, I understand it was like... How much? 12,000? Oh, we might... Okay, ready? We're gonna use the ability here. In three... Wait, I'm just gonna wait for them to get to, like, the very end. I'm gonna wait for the last second. And... Now! Oh! Look at them all go back to the start! Ooh! Okay. I want to use it a little bit earlier, because it's not instant. It takes a second for it to work. And that bought us... That should buy us just enough time. Oh, we do have round 63, though. Round 63 might be a problem for us. And if we don't get this. Okay, round 63 could be a little bit problematic. Oh, I just got Super Rift Storm. And he's epic. Oh, my gosh. Look at how cool he is. So, we can't hit lead balloons. That is... A, oh, my gosh. This guy is legendary. Look at how cool this art is. He's like... Bam. This guy's sweet. He's DJing. He's got some funky, funky discs going around. Man, and look at all the knives he throws. Those definitely look really sharp. That's definitely not safe. But you know what? He's throwing them at the balloons, so it's okay. This guy reminds me of... He's kind of like... Glaive Lord? Mixed with... Um, Avatar of Wrath is kind of the vibe that I'm getting. Mixed with epicness, by the way. This is probably one of the coolest looking modded towers I've ever seen. Like, with the hairdo and the model, this guy is vibing out. I'm gonna go ahead and buy MIB, because I think MIB is just gonna help us out tremendously when it comes to having to fight all of these balloons. Golem Master is the final upgrade, and that's the most expensive. And... That's kind of wild to me because what do you mean that there's some... And it's like double the price of the Super Rift Storm. Double the price of this guy? What? That is crazy to even trying... To, like to even comprehend. I never even read what it does. <laughs> I was just so excited. I didn't even read the upgrade. Opens two psychic rift portals that slow down balloons and spew out barrages of knives and swords. Cyclone discs are much stronger. Oh my gosh. So not only does this do damage, it also slows balloons. So it's Glaive Lord mixed with Middle Pass Ice Monkey. Also mixed with Avatar of Wrath. Mixed with, um, I mean, I guess he also, Glaive Lord also throws the thing. So he's got, he does a whole lot of stuff. So far, this guy is amazing. This, the Chronomancer, it's aight. It's aight. It's, it's okay. You know, I, I, I haven't seen it shine yet, okay? I guess that's what it is. I haven't seen it shine to its fullest potential because it's very expensive. It's probably a similar, see, like, 35. So it's probably a similar price as, like, yeah, a Sarbamba. So, and it's kind of similar, right? So the whole point of the Chronomancer is it just, it is, it doesn't do any damage. The only reason you have it is for its ability, which just saves your butt. And it seems like a lot of money for a get out of jail free card, but we haven't really seen the effect of it or needed it yet. And I think we need it at one time, which is really nice to have. So we'll definitely later on, this guy might start shining. And especially if it affects BADs. I think that's what's the most crucial thing. If this tower can affect BADs and send BADs all the way back to the start, I think we're going to have an entirely different conversation. Because most towers can't affect BADs at all, unless it's a paragon, right? Now, we do have the Golem Master, which I am really interested to see what this guy's all about. The balloons will know what's coming for them just from the vibrations in the ground. Ooh! Ooh! That's so hype! And we're only $10,000 away! Oh! And we're about to go up against round 80. But the, this guy, the Rift Master, is uh, the, the Supa Rift Storm. 
Like, he just kind of solos right now, right? This guy is legendary. Oh, we can get the Golem Master. Oh, I want to get it. I want to get it, but we don't need it just yet. We're going to hold out. And we also don't want to scoff or laugh at our Geomancer. It has 45,000 pops. And for only spending like $5,000 on it, that is really nice. That's a really nice, just casual tower to pick up, right? Like, it's cool how it is like this psychic kind of magic tower that really expands into four completely different categories, right? Which makes it so good. We're about to go up into round 90, all right? And I think it's time that we go ahead and get the Golem Master. I think we've been dilly-dallying enough for it. And right as we start to go up against 90, I let's go ahead and grab it. It, this tech guy is already just kind of doing crazy damage. Like, look at this for a T4. They're doing amazing. All right, let's see what they got against DDTs. Are DDTs gonna, DDTs are not gonna be a problem in the slightest. My gosh. Holy cow. This tower is epic. This tower is so good. All right, Gala Master, we need almost, we need one more thousand dollars. Oh man, all right. The moment we've all been waiting for. The Golem Master. If you've enjoyed up until now, friends, please consider subscribing. We're trying to hit 2 million subscribers, and we need your help to do it. Let's do it, friends. Let's get Golem Master. Three. Oh, are we okay? Oh, that was weird. Wait. We're recording, right? Yeah, that was weird. All right, we're on round 95. It's time for the Golem Master. Boom! All right, hit. Whoa! Look at the Golem! All right, let's see what the Golem Master's got. Let's see it go up against round 95, okay? Let's see what this guy is all about. Why is he double the price of this guy? Holy cow! He summons a giant golem that just destroys the balloons. Boom! Holy cow! He summons a literal golem that just stands on the track and just beats up balloons. That is so, that is so sweet. And it just destroys everything that comes there. I feel like I'm genuinely speechless. I feel that normally I always have something like, like, I'm just, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. This is really well made. All right, so far things are trying to get by, but I ain't letting it happen. Uh, we could get called to arms. I really want to just get a engineer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Larger service area. I really, we're almost at ultra boost, okay. Let's, oh, this OMG got annihilated. It d didn't stand a chance. Get out of here. Get out of here, Mr. ZOMG. Not ZOMG, B-A-D. Get out of here. So far, it's still not as powerful as the Rift Storm. Like, this guy's good, but not as good as I thought he was gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool, but he's not just decimating the balloons. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We might need to use our ability. I'm gonna use the ability. Boom, look at that. Okay, the Chronomancer came in clutch. Look at how far it pushed all the balloons back. That actually bought us so much time. I really want to get cooldown reduction. I think that's going to be really important. So I'm going to go ahead and just get Submarine. And I'm going to boost this up and get Energizer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Does the Monkey Golem? Oh, wait, this guy's catching up, actually. Look at how many pops the monkey golem gets. That is a lot of pops, actually. That is a lot of pops. I wish that you could have multiple monkey golems down. That would be really cool. Now, the real question is, will the ability be able to pop a BAD or push back a BAD? If it can. So if it can't, I think it's a really good, like, I think it's okay. Like, I think it's like, it's like, they're better things to get, but it's not the worst thing if you get. If it can push back BADs, this is an overpowered tower. I think is the best way. Is I That's what my thoughts on this are. Let's just go to round 40. So let's skip some rounds. Oh my goodness, it like lagged for a second. All right, we're at one. Oh, wait, wait, we're, all right, we're having some troubles. All right, we're going to do this. We're pushing it back. It does not push back the BAD. Okay, so there's that. We have confirmation that it doesn't do that which is a little bit sad. So it still can't save you from that. Perhaps the Paragon will be able to do that. I'm sure the Paragon will have an ability that would affect the BAD, which would make it really cool. I also think the Monkey Golem does get attack speed boosts. 
And that's where we're gonna end off this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more fun content.